This is a Visio 2010 Layers tutorial, third one in the series. This is Advanced 2, and this will be about layer sets. Uh, first thing I'm going to do in this drawing is uh, delete a few things. This is the drawing from the last video, which was Advanced 1. So I'm going to delete these objects. And uh, what we're going to do here is uh, talk about layer sets, uh, which that's a feature that's uh, often found in higher end. Uh, CAD programs and basically uh, it provides a way of turning a group of layers on or off uh, at one time. Uh, Visio doesn't have that feature uh, however we're going to more or less simulate the feature by using a uh, macro to turn uh, on and off uh, layers as a group. So, a little bit complicated, but for uh, some uses, um, this can be a, a really big help. Uh, what we're doing here in our demonstration is very simple in terms of the number of layers, so it would uh, serve uh, not a whole lot of practical purpose right here. But when you start using layers for things like wiring diagrams, and uh, or maybe you have uh, patch cables or things like that, uh, turning off a whole group of them uh, can really simplify things and make it very easy to uh, use a, a big feature of layers which is using the same drawing for different purposes so that when the drawing is changed it's consistent uh, among the different views using the different layers. So to start this out um, we're going to uh, add a few objects here to the drawing and these are the uh, buttons that we're going to use for turning the layers on and off. So I'm going to put uh, some objects in here and these of course could be any size or shape so I'm going to click copy of it so I'm going to call this uh, show tropical fruit and this one I'm going to fill this and rename this one. Then I'm going to go and uh, create some additional layers. This will be uh, show non-tropical button. And then I'm going to set uh, some colors for these. So for the show non-tropical button, I'm just going to for right now set this one to uh, color number 16. And for the show tropical button, now you can set this to any color you wanted. This is just for demonstration. I'm going to set this to color 3. And and then I'm going to take this background color and I'm going to assign this to uh, a layer of the show tropical button. And I'm going to assign this one to a layer of show non tropical. And then I'm going to just move that uh, on top like so. The reason I'm doing this with the separate uh, boxes for the button is just uh, I want to change the color. I'm going to set the fill background to no fill. And I'm going to just move this over the top. And the reason I'm doing this is so that um, uh, I don't want to change the color of the lettering in here. I want to change the rest of the color. And then finally, I'm going to group these. Okay, so that's just a little work to do uh, something that's going to help us to turn these layers on and off. Now, we're going to create a macro that's going to actually uh, set these layers for us. And what we're going to control in this macro is um, the layers. Now it would be 
when we turn this on, we want to turn all certain layers on and off. And uh, we could try to do the macro using the layer properties box, but the problem with that is, is that when you check these visible print, it toggles them on and off. But uh, you don't know what state it was in. So it'd be hard to go with a macro and turn apples off, make it not visible when uh, you don't know what it is. So the toggling them on and off doesn't quite work. So we're going to have to get at these properties in a somewhat different way. And a different way is through the uh, use of the shape sheet. Now, uh, you want to make sure that you have developer mode turned on, as you can see from right here. You can show the developer tab. So if you're not seeing that, you're going to want to go into uh, your file menu, uh, options, and uh, advanced. And you'll see run in developer mode as an option right here. So this is checked. If it's not checked, you want to check it. So uh, we are in developer mode. And uh, I'm going to go here to developer. And we're going to go to show shape sheet. And what we want to look at here is the shape sheet for the page. So this shows up half of the screen. And uh, I'm going to scroll down and we'll find layers. So this is uh, kind of a uh, useful screen for us. And this is the place where we're going to be uh, using our macros. You see in here that it shows a one uh, for visible and print. And uh, if it uh, shows a zero, uh, then those are not going to be visible and not printing. And just to try to be always consistent in what we see in print, I'm always going to change visible and print at the same time. There's another thing we're going to be uh, changing in here, and that's the color of the layers. You see here for the show uh, non-tropical button, we have a 16, which is that gray color. And for the show tropical button, we have a 3, which is that uh, kind of lime green color. So in any case, this is uh, where we'll be doing our work. So for right now, I'm going to close this. Now, the uh, macro recorder is pretty easy to use. Uh, it's another part of uh, something that shows up in developer mode. And uh, basically what we do is we record a macro, and then everything that we do can be repeated uh, on command. So I just closed uh, viewing that uh, shape sheet because we want to open that as part of the macro. So I'm going to go here to record a macro. And it asks me to uh, set a name for the macro. And make sure you use no spaces in the prep uh, macro. And now everything that we do will be recorded. Now I'm going to call tropical fruit um, the banana and the orange and the apple, uh, maybe not tropical. So I'm going to go to show the page shape sheet. And I'm going to scroll down. And now I'm going to set everything up for how I want it to be for showing tropical fruit. So now remember, I'm going to do this for everyone, even if it's the way that I want it. So I'm going to go here, set this to zero. Checkbox. Set this to zero. Checkbox. This is turning off apples and oranges. Now, even though the banana is already on, they could be off when I'm running this. So, I'm going to go in here and re-enter it. And we'll leave the background just the way it was. Now, I want to make the uh, non-tropical button. Uh, I want that to be gray. And even though it's already set to gray, I'm going to go in there and do it again. And then go down to the uh, show tropical uh, one. And even though it's already three, I'm going to 
Do that again. And basically, uh, that should set things up the way we want it. Apples and oranges are turned off. Uh, bananas are turned on. The show non-tropical button is gray, and the show tropical button is lime green. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to down here and click this to stop recording. And that should uh, work things for us pretty good. And you can see how this looks right now. We've turned off the layers of the apple and oranges. We're showing tropical fruit. Now we're going to go and create a macro to uh, show non-tropical fruit. So we'll go in here and go to developer, uh, record macro, name this one. And now here we will go and uh, we're now recording. So we'll go to show shape sheet page, scroll down. And so now the non tropical, we're going to go in. This will be kind of easy because we're going to undo things and change the way that they are. So um, I'm going to change this to one. Do the same here. And now we're going to go and change the colors and the buttons. So here we're going to show the non, take the non-tropical button, change it to three. We're going to take the tropical button and change it to sixteen. to close this and we're going to stop recording okay so uh, basically uh, this macro should do uh, what it is that we, that we want to do now we can uh, test the macro we want the developer and macros we see a layer and um, Scroll and see what they are. Show non tropical. So, and show tropical. So, we're going to, um, since we're already showing non tropical, we're going to try uh, showing the tropical. Run it. And sure enough, now we're showing tropical fruit. Our button is lit up. And then we'll try running the other one. And so this will be show non-tropical. Run that, and sure enough, now we've hit this button is lit up. So, you know, the macros run. Now we're going to assign a macro to the button. So we're going to select this. Remember, we grouped it. I'm going to go up here to uh, behavior, and on the double click, you have an option to run a macro. You double click on it. So I'm going to click on um, my macro and scroll down here to the macros that were cr created. And so this is show tropical. Click on that. OK. And then we're going to take this one. And we're going to set the double click behavior of that one to show non-tropical okay so now um, this should um, give us um, operation by double clicking on it so right now we're we're not showing uh, the tropical fruit so if we go here and double click we 
we are showing tropical fruit. And uh, now if we want to go to the other one, double click, and now we're showing the non-tropical fruit. So that would be a way of um, doing uh, simulated uh, layer sets. Um, we can use this in uh, other drawings, as I said, particularly with wiring and everything like that, where uh, you really want to get double use for a drawing or more. You can have a number of buttons to different configurations and make it fairly simple for a user looking at it to be able to set those layer sets without having to go into any kind of menus, anything like that. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.